Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining for another video with myself, Scrappy Adam. So today I'm just going to run through my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit for January. A little bit late, but I'm just getting back into the swing of things. <clears throat> and I would like to use some of it. So, yeah, I am still going to do it. So, I will be combining this with another new series that I will be starting. I think some of it will be, some of it won't be. So these are basically my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit for January and possibly February. I've parked the big mega kit I did. I still have it all together and that will be coming out again. But I wanted colourful, I wanted summer, I wanted all of this stuff. And <clears throat> what this is, is basically kits. So I have got kits from Mind the Scrap, how, uh, my How to Kill a Kit. Mind the scrap and hip kit kits. So I've just pulled them in. This top lot here that isn't in a baggy are basically from How to Kill a Kit. No, why do I keep saying that? Um, from hip kit, from a kit, but I just didn't want to bring the whole kit in. So yeah. So I am going to grab all of this out. They are in bags. I have my own little How to Kill a Kit box now here. This is an art bin for anybody that is interested. And it just says kits current because that's what it is. And I quickly outgrew it. Okay, so we have some that aren't in a bag because I've only pulled in little bits of it. So I have two full kits there. But then I also have these bits. So I pulled in a few papers. These were all in hip kit so I've got a couple of scraps there I would call that a scrap even though it's a good half we've got a Ricky Boot and Colour study paper we've got a hip kit exclusive paper this is from the Cosmolicious collection no it's called Cosmolicious and it's from the Collect Memories collection and this is also Collect Memories and this is Artsy Rainbow I love that so I've pulled those in. We've got a Vicky and a page paper. Then other random stuff. I've got these titles that I've still not used all of. I used one here and one here. They are massive. So this one was adventure and it was that long. <laughs> so I want to get these used. Maybe I will carry it over to February to give them more chance. I'm not sure. We'll see. As you can tell, I was, I wasn't, I loved my kit that I did, the mega kit, but then it got so crazy last year, I had to just step back, take a breath, and then start again. So then we have some Sunkiss, Simple Stories chipboard, Amy Tangerine foam, and a lot of this is part used. A pack of ephemera from Sunkiss, and then two... Is this two? Uh, they are from different ones. So then we've got Collect Memories and Mixed Die Cuts. And they're all tags, phrases, labels. I brought this in from Obed Marshall because it's a good alpha. And it's just a circle alpha. You get two sheets, 288 from Fantastico. All the letters, punctuation, hearts, stars and numbers. We've got Delightful Collection from Hipkit Ephemera. Need to get some of that used and then some frames as well. So I've got them and then I've got two kits basically. So I've got Hip Kit Club Flourish Collection. Now I'm not going to go through it all because you will have seen it in my previous videos. But basically we've got this paper. I haven't actually got that much paper left. I have two full sheets of paper and then all of these bits here. A couple of these may well have been from this one, I'm not sure. But I am going to put them all together so that this becomes one mega kit. <clears throat> and then I have a lot of the ephemera. So we've still got the luggage tags and the acetate mandalas. I've not used either of those yet. Still got a fair few of the Project Life cards. They will just go out of that and become paper. So I'll map photos with them. Do a bit of layering and bits and bobs. Got some of the ephemera left. I have used a little bit of that. 
some chipboard circles, some random ephemera there, some wooden wood veneer embellishments, some embellishments there, I think they're from here, they must have just fallen out of there. <clears throat> Again, I have used a few of these, I've got just the last few border borders. Some chipboard, mini phrases, puffy stickers, love the colours. These build the flowers. Now, I'm not sure I like them. That may be controversial. So I may pull out the buttons and get rid of the rest. I don't think anybody would want them. And then I've got these chipboard, these are chipboard frames, but I've used both frame, frames. So we've just got three hexagons and some circles, mixed media clear stickers, last few puppy titles, last few butterflies, and then two alphas. And whatever I don't use over the course of however long I decide to keep this kit for, I will <clears throat> look at it and think, am I going to use it? Yes. Goes into my stash. No. I will pass it on in whatever way that may be because I could give it to a friend give it as a random act of kindness on Facebook as people do offer it as a prize in my group on Facebook or to you guys all sorts so I'm just putting all these here so this kit is again embellishment heavy so I may well have to pull in paper if I don't get on with anything but I'm going to do my best to use all the paper at least. That is my goal, is to use all of the paper. And if I do that, I'm a happy guy. There we go. And then finally, I have brought in a kit from Mind the Scrap. This was actually a full month's kit. So this is the scrapbook kit, the paper kit, the bougeau kit, the mixed media kit, and the embellishment kit. There might be some things that weren't in that that I've added in or that I've taken out. Like I've used some of these alphas. And some of it might not have been in here at all because it has all got confused. So, papers first again. <clears throat> As with all Mind the Scrap kits, you get a white and a black cardstock. And we will indeed have another one. Because I haven't split them yet. So we get two white and two black. So that is good. Then you get a colour card stock, and of course, so basically the paper kit is you can, it's a second set of papers. So the scrapbook kit has the papers and embellishments, and the paper kit is another set of the scrapbook papers. So this is a basil in evening surf. Then we have got Bella Boulevard, You Are My Sunshine. We've got these pink tone on tone hearts and this big dot. Then we have got... <clears throat> let's have a look. So yeah, I have used some papers from this. This is Obed Marshall Fantastico. Those alphas were actually in Mind the Scrap. And this is Twinkling Lights. We have two of these papers, which is the wood grain, which I love. And this is Paper House Productions, which we don't get in the UK, which is very much a shame. And then these stars there. Then we've got two of these papers. This is another You Are My Sunshine, Bella Boulevard, Be Beautiful. And we've got that there. Then we have got two Fantastico Obed Marshall How Fun with this funky funkiness. I'd like to cut them out, I think, because we've got two with the blue triangles, blue with white triangles and the odd yellow triangle. And then probably one of my favourite ever papers, Doodlebug, cute and crafty, colourful canvas. I just love that. You can use that as a background time and time and time and time and time again. And I do have a, quite a lot of these because I love them. And then this green tone on tone stripe. So that is the papers. And I haven't brought any extra papers in because 
I want to use this. I want to get it all used. That is my goal. Whether I do, I don't know. But as I say, if I don't get everything used, I don't expect to get all the embellishment used because there's a lot there. I will think, yes, you keep no away. That is the plan. Embellishment wise, we have got the 12 by 12 doohickey stickers from Bella Boulevard's You Are My Sunshine. And we have got <clears throat> four or five border pieces, lots of circles and tabs and hearts and word phrases, and then another alpha in white there. We have got Ricky Bootin Colour Study Modern Art Thickers. One of my favourite ever ones. I need a million of them. Vicky Bootin, Stories of Us. This was Fernwood. Puffy stickers. Again, I love all of these. All of the ones that Vicky does. Obed Marshall, Buenas Dias. So this wasn't in the kit, I don't think. I think I brought this one in. Because this was in another kit. It might have been a Read Fan Creative kit. I'm not sure. Some of them I'm not going to use, such as this, and more everyday adventures I will use, obviously. So it's just a couple of them, and then some of these that are Spanish, but overall I'll use them. <clears throat> yeah, so that was definitely in a Read Fan Creative kit, because these were, just ignore that one, that one went a bit wrong. Put that one to one side. So these are puffy rainbow stickers, but they come separate. So each one is a little one. So you could mix and match the colours. I love them. Love, love, love. So let's pop that there. We've got some Doodlebug Love This Epoxy Hearts. And then we've got three ephemera packs to go on top of them. We've got 49 and Market Vintage Artistry Mango Ephemera Stacks. So it has all that in, which is a bit funky with this kit, but the colours match perfectly, hence why I've picked these two kits to go together. Because I have sorted my room out a bit now. So I have all my kits next to me in bags like this, and yeah, there's quite a lot, guys. Five of the hip kit club kits, three mind the scraps plus this one because what I did with them I just broke them down into my stash. So, yeah, I really want to focus on kits a lot, and you will see that if you watch my scrappy chart video. Then we have two ephemera packs which are gigantic from Doodlebug and Bella Boulevard, which are of course the same company. Um, so that's really good. We have a chit chat from the Hello collection from Doodlebug. And I love this collection so much. So these are foil stamped. So they are like embossed. So many titles and bubbles and all sorts. And then the ephemera from You Are My Sunshine, which I already have with the collection. <clears throat> but I'm going to use this one separate. And this has 107 die cuts. Lots of flowers and bees and rainbows and words and a bicycle and tabs and tags and phrases and hot air balloons, all sorts. So I want to make a real dent in that. I just love Bella Boulevard. My try, Bella Boulevard. We didn't get it in the UK and I'm gutted. Gutted because I wanted it so bad. And who has seen Vicky Booting's new collection? And pages and Heidi swaps. Oh. So I need to go on a stash bash drive for sure because there's so many new collections coming out oh yeah they come out so quick don't they so all of this is going to go into oh, my little bag now i will probably use this kit for some facebook lives in january so most of them will be happening in dotty about flair which you will find linked below if it's something that you would like to join in with. It's my business group, Dotty About Flair. You don't have to buy Flair to join in with things because we like to welcome everybody. 
those of you that have been asking about our website, that will open on Friday the 14th. I'm not sure on timings yet, and if it can be the day before, then it will be. I just wanted to show you my kit for January and potentially February. So this is my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit for, yeah, let's say January, but if we roll it to February, that's fine because at least it's getting used. I would like to thank you all for joining me for this video. And I look forward to joining you, joining you, look forward to you joining me for another video very, very soon. And watch out for my Scrappy Chat and Goals video because I'm going to explain a few things as well. Thank you all so much for joining me. I will speak to you all very soon. Bye for now.